This problem is a problem regarding a uh, change of internal energy in a gas system. And it relates to chapter 15 of OpenStax College Physics. So we're going to be talking about a system here that can expand. We have a movable piston, gas molecules uh, present. Four, mole four moles of uh, material is in our chamber. The chamber is uh, sealed in a sense. It does not uh, let more molecules in, does not let the existing molecules out, but does, is able to travel up and down to, uh, to do work, to change the volume and do work. So we're told we have four moles of uh, material and we are going to let this system expand adiabatically. That means that the Q number is zero. No energy goes in, no energy goes out during this process. The Q is zero. The work done is 500 joules as the system expands. So calculating the change of internal energy is using the first law of thermodynamics. The first uh, law tells us the change in internal energy can be computed with Q minus W. We have a zero for Q. We have 500 for the, uh, the work, 500 joules. The minus sign here is part of the uh, first law. So the work was positive but we have a change in internal energy of minus 500 joules. This is reasonable. 500 joules of work was done. That energy has to be supplied by uh, something, and it's being supplied here by internal energy in the gas system. So change of internal energy minus 500 joules, energy is conserved. We have 500 joules going out as work. We uh, extract 500 joules from the internal energy of the system. So hypothetical problem. Well, what will happen to the temperature as this uh, system is expanding adiabatically? Well, we know that we can calculate the internal energy with three halves nRT for an ideal gas. We're using an ideal gas here. So uh, internal energy, three halves nRT. If we have the change of internal energy that's desired, that's accomplished by a change in the temperature. So minus 500 joules we found for the change of internal energy. We're using this delta U equals 3 halves times 4 moles. The gas constant, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And then the change in temperature. So we have everything we need to calculate that change in temperature. You should use your own calculator and verify that uh, uh, we're in agreement in this result. I came up with a change of temperature of minus 10 Kelvin minus 10 Kelvin. Well, in the Kelvin and the Celsius scale, the units are the same size. A unit of temperature is the same size. So minus 10 Kelvin, that's also minus 10 degrees Celsius. We were given the original temperature as 260 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to stay on the Celsius scale. We put in temperature 1 of 260. We add the change of temperature of minus 10 and we come up with a final temperature of 250 degrees Celsius. This is reasonable. As the system expands, it cools off. If there's no extra energy coming in, Q is zero for this. So the uh, change is 10 degrees Celsius. We're at 250 Celsius. Keep practicing. Ask your instructor some questions.